Pike and Sons Lumber Co. Okay, guys, this game was made by Mixlass, the same person who made Baby's Nightmare Circus and the shooting game on the bike, uh, which was really difficult, and I remember that in great detail. Uh, but yeah, before I start, guys, uh, I want to do a quick plug to my Nintendo channel, Nindorco, because uh, recently we've been doing... Uh, I can't even fit it on my head. Because lately we've been doing Luigi's Mansion. And Nindako. Um, and it's been really fun so far. So please check out the channel if you want to. Uh, link in the description. Uh, if you want to check out G Fuel guys. And you want to buy some. Uh, use code DORCO at checkout to get 10% off. Anyway, I'll shut up now. Tyken Sons Lumber Co. Let's go. Start game. So I've heard this Once game. Once upon a time where life was simple. Trees fell left and right, and the bridge's boards fell loose constantly within Zeebill's presence, lived Chipper and his son, Tyke. Chipper was proud of his wood-chopping offspring with the success of his company, Chipper and Sons Lumber Co. After the father tree was demolished by Tyke, the beavers lived in harmony in their happy cabin. Along with that, Tyke had success on his last date with a fellow beaver named Lisa. So much success that they had started their own family after a year of bonding. Time seemed to go by fast as the beavers chopped and built. Tyke and Lisa eventually brought their own beaver into the world, Mike. With this addition to the beaver family, Chipper was happy to have a new addition to the company soon enough. But as Mike grew up, one day Chipper had gone missing. The remaining beavers quickly scrambled along the acres of land to find their missing beaver member and founder. After a few hours of searching, they had come to the conclusion that Chipper was gone. Rip the family Chipper. still had hope and did not plan to presume him as dead. Tyke, being the fatherly figure his father once was, took the company into his arms and rebranded the company as Tyke and Sons Lumber Co. The story now goes on in the hands of Tyke and Mike to redefine the business under the brightest light. Okay. So, yeah. This is a sequel, guys. I think I... Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. This is a sequel to Scott's game, Chipper and Sons. This is a fan-made game, by the way. A sequel to it where Chipper's gone missing and Tyke has took over the company. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be interesting, guys. I did do a playthrough through Chipper and Sons like four years ago. I might revisit it uh, in the future. We'll have to wait and see. Um, so, this is Tyke talking, right? Well, little Mac, the day has come. No, not the beginning of summer, or your coming of age, but me throwing you out on your furry ear. That's what my father said to me when I was your age. Your grand, <laughs> your grandfather Chipper was a great beaver. You could be proud to be his grandson. It's pretty sad that you were never able to talk to him. He disappeared when you were really young. No one knows where he went. Really weird if you ask me. Anyway, I will give you full control over our little lumber company, and I want you to be a great successor. You will spend your days building robots and crafting even more things from the lumber you will be gathering. Thus, you'll soon be set free from this prison called home. It's time for you to explore the world. I'm going to be watching you from a safe distance. I am a professional. And you can come right after me if you work hard enough. But remember, no one ever beats good old Chipper. He truly was the best. Now get lost. This is your time to shine. We will start as soon as this text box disappears. <laughs> okay. Actually, before you go, take this walkie-talkie. That way we can stay in contact even if you are far away. As if that would ever happen. But for real, you should explore our little company first before I let you off in the dangerous world. I'm counting on you, beaver boy. Promise to make me a proud dad, will ya? Anyway, your first task will be to plant some trees right next to the house. There isn't much space, so don't build useless things that we don't need, okay? If you want to re-listen to what I just said, press the walkie-talkie. Okay. Let's go, guys. Ah, uh, it's exactly the same as Chipper and Sons, guys. This looks awesome. So, okay, what do I do? I plant a tree. So in my bag, I've got an old saw. Nothing else. 
plans. What the heck? A chippo mat. Need lumber to build that. A frog shed. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, here we go. So I planted the tree. How do I water it? Or do I... Is that water in it? I think that's water in it. Plant some more. Oh, I can plant loads. So how... Yeah, look, guys. My watering can is on the uh, the tree. Is this how I'm supposed to be doing this? Oh, hello. Yeah, my little watering can's like a little gun. And it freaking, like, destroys them. Like, what the heck? This is... In I got seaweed. Okay. Okay, guys. This is interesting. So, it's like um, a grinding game by the looks of things. Let's get rid of you quickly. There we go. And I got a good rock. Can I just plant... Do I just have unlimited seeds? Okay, please don't leave 20% off everything. <laughs> okay, let's do all these. Plant this, plant this. Do these grow over time or do... Do I just have to wait? Is there a way to, like, water properly or do I just wait? I don't know. Make lumber. Oh, it's growing now. You don't have enough wood to make lumber. Okay, so I just, do I just wait next to this tree? Because it's growing when I'm next to it. Oh, there we go. And it's just, it's going to keep growing forever. Oh, there we go. C. Okay, I did it. Make lumber. Don't have enough still. Okay, how much do I need? How much lumber do I need? Oh, God. Go away. I got an axe. Oh, I think I needed that for him. No, I didn't. What the heck? Chippo mat. And there's a different chippo mat. Red lumber. We play the waiting game, guys, to just build some freaking trees. I wonder if we can upgrade our uh, watering can in the future. Okay, there we go. I don't know how many... Oh, here we go. Take. There we go. Uh, what did that say? Collect enough items to build a brand new chippo mat. Chippo mat. Oh my god, I need five lumbers. It's gonna take forever. Maybe these bot this robot will probably help me after guys to cut the trees down for me. There we go. Get rid of you, you weird cupcake tentacle thing. Oh, I got lumber from him. Thanks, game. That actually makes things a lot easier. So we're actually playing as Mike, guys, not Tyke in this one. The music's pretty cool, too. Let's get that. I'm gonna need... Yep, one more tree, guys, and we're done. There we go. And then make lumber, take. There we go. And then plans. Can I make him now? we are on craft. This one. I don't know. This. Oh, here we go. I might build him over here, guys. Oh, these have grown. So these do grow over time, guys, even if you don't um, water them, which I like. Don't remember them being this big anyway. I'm going to put him up in this first area, guys. So I'm going to get rid of you. And I'm going to plop you in here. Build. There we go. Okay. Build another chippo mat. Oh, I can do these. There we go. What 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 are they doing though? What do these do? I don't I don't understand. There we go. Nice. Need f two more lumber again. These just give me wood forever, or they're not giving me anything. 
These don't even damage me, guys. I've just realised that. They don't even hurt me. You've got to do a lot of grinding on this game, guys. A lot of grinding. Okay, I've got enough now, guys. Old saw. I think I actually do need that. Good job I killed that. Okay, good. Um, can I just get rid of you? No. I'm going to put another one next to this one. Like I said, ship parts. I don't even know what that means. Um, yeah, I don't know what... Oh, a male. Hello. Ah, oh, there we go. It does give me lumbar. Thank you. Okay, that's good. That's great, actually. Uh, craft. There we go. So we've got two of them now. Superb, you mastered all your tasks for today. Press space when you're in the front of the house. Okay. Uh, what a rough day. Do you want to go to bed? Yes. All right, let me open the cabin for you. Since you're so hard working now, we can switch places. Take your toys to the room upstairs. I will take the attic. Good night, son. Damn, okay. Well, later that night. What? Oh, no. There's a FNAF part in this. You've got to be kidding me. I can't believe it. Move your mouse left to run to a window. Flick the mouse downward to turn to place behind you. Okay, go for, go here. If you see anything in here, close the curtain until it's gone. Right, mouse. Okay. Close the curtain. And close the curtain. Okay. What about forward? Can I not go forward? Right click on the batteries to refill your flashlight. Damn, nice bedroom. That's cool. Then if I want to go back, I can do it again. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm scared. Sleep assurance at the top right, guys. Go to bed when you are able to sleep again. What? I don't I don't know. I don't understand that. Sleep assurance. Oh. Somebody's here. Ah! Oh, my sleep assurance gone up now. And that's how we beat the night, guys. So is nobody going to spawn in my bedroom? Okay, we can just literally tap this, guys. Okay, I think that's the only way you beat the game. Huh. Yeah, see? It's gone up now when you've got rid of him. Okay. That's an interesting take on it. So there's no time limit. That's weird. This freaking guy's annoying and scary. It's one of my bots, I think. It's one of the bots that I made. Getting nightmares about him. Thank you. It's going to be more. This is only night one, guys, so. It's going to be more to this, I think. Uh oh, uh oh. Hello. Okay, four more. So you need to flashlight the window because you don't see him in the darkness. You have to use your flashlight. And he can go from left to right. Jesus. It doesn't like my robot, doesn't it? The robots that I made. Thank you for honking. This one honk? No, just you. Where is my dad? 
at this horrible time. He's out working, apparently. Oh, no. One more, guys, and we're done. I think I'm done. It's full. Can I go to bed now? Ah, press B to go to bed. There we go. Wake up! The early bird catches the worm. Good morning, son. Are you ready for round two? As I promised you yesterday, you can go and explore the island now. I've opened up the gates for you. Don't worry, I won't let you off without a very important task, that's for sure. This is as important as me teaching you how to walk on two legs, and that's pretty unusual for beavers. Your mother runs a coffee shop in the town nearby. I need a mixed chiado to go real quick. Here's a little pro tip. You can find hidden coins if you click on certain objects around you. Oh, and about the trees, plant as many as you can. Water isn't the only thing that makes them grow. Patience is the key to success. That's all I wanted to say. And don't forget the mi mixed shadow. Okay, guys. Oh, there. Can I click that? Oh, yeah, cool. It's like hidden objects that you can click on to get a coin. Okay. Well, guys, I am probably going to call that today's episode for now. So things have got pretty interesting. Does this save my progress or not? I think it does. Yeah, playtime 20 minutes, so yeah. Um, I'm going to call that today's episode. If you'd like to see another episode and see where this leads off, please let me know and leave a like. Thank you so much for the support as always. Take care, lots of love, and I'll see you all next time.